Our Southern Ocean mission was an incredibly audacious goal. You know, it's never been done before. We're trying to circumnavigate Antarctica to a place where even ships can't go during the winter. The winds are too strong, the waves are too big. And it's an incredibly hostile environment. So to do that with an unmanned system in the winter months of the Southern Ocean was an incredibly bold task. Before we went to Southern Ocean, there really was no data from the ocean during the winter months. The data we collected was transformational, gave us new insights into processes that affect the entire planet. The Southern Ocean is, plays a big role in climate. It's really the meeting place for all the oceans. The ocean currently absorbs about 25% of humans' emissions of CO2. And the Southern Ocean uh, represents 40% of that. So this is a, it's a huge, huge part of ocean CO2 uptake. My research focus is really to look at how the ocean is, uh, ocean chemistry and ocean CO2 is changing over time. The sail drone platform is really powerful in terms of filling gaps in our observing system. Our observing system for surface ocean CO2 is largely dependent on ship-based observations. And ships can only go to certain places. As a result, there are really large gaps in our observing system. One of the problems we have for understanding just how much carbon is going into the Southern Ocean is that it, most of the measurements have been done since um, around the early 1990s from ships. Most of those ships just go to uh, research bases, so there are huge gaps in our coverage. The sail drone data is quite a remarkable achievement. So first of all, there's a, an autonomous vehicle that can circumnavigate the Southern Ocean and make very high quality measurements of CO2 and other provenance. The sail drone is able to go into places that we just don't visit, and at times we don't visit. So there's very little traffic in the winter. So we have major gaps, not only regionally, uh, because ships don't go into certain areas, but also seasonally. The Southern Ocean is really one of the global part, the parts of the global ocean that impacts us wherever we are in the world. Uh, the Southern Ocean plays a major role in uh, determining our current and future climate and weather. The data from the first uh, circumnavigation of Antarctica by sail drone in 2019 is being used in many different ways scientifically. There are different groups around the world looking at all that data that was collected, which was you know, really a vast amount of data when you had multiple sail drones flying around the Southern Ocean at different times of the year and collecting many different variables. So with the data from the 2019 mission, we, we published a paper that was um, released in January of 2021, so this year. We basically used the sail drone data set to answer questions about uncertainty in CO2 flux. The 2019 data allowed us to get wintertime coverage where we haven't had it before. Uh, and that's been really critical for understanding the annual uptake into the Southern Ocean. We're hoping that these sail drone missions are going to provide new data and new information so that we may better understand uh, how more directly the Southern Ocean impacts our climate um, so that we can understand it now and also better forecast it and predict it uh, in 10 years or 100 years from now. The Sail Drone Explorer serves a really important role in a multi-platform observing system in the ocean. And I think the, the USVs really do fill a really unique niche. You know, that's really exciting. It opens up a lot of new opportunities, new science questions to ask and new problems to solve related to climate. We're incredibly busy right now. The demand for data is huge. Everyone is working flat out to build the drones as fast as possible, to get as many units in the ocean sending back data. Now that we've proved it's possible, we want to send more drones back and have a persistent presence circumnavigating Antarctica year round to measure data as it changes.